Well, many fans have been following the ongoing drama that is Ezra Miller's life. Though we found out recently, apparently the actor is indeed seeking some help for some of the issues that have been affecting his life, we've been getting these new reports about some recastings for The Fastest Man Alive. I wanted to take a couple minutes to talk about these reports, why I think not only are they premature, and even if these rumors are true, why I don't think Warner Brothers Discovery will be making any kind of decisions anytime soon. Let's break down the whole story. Now, if you've been following this since the beginning, you know at this point, Ezra Miller is finally seeking help after a series of rather damaging and shocking accusations. Now, the fan feedback has been, well, divided, and some people really don't think that's going to work for them, while other camps feel like if he's truly getting help, everybody deserves a second chance. Now, from day one, Ezra Miller was a bit of a divisive choice to play Barry Allen, although I have to say, I did enjoy his appearances in both Justice League and Suicide Squad, but honestly, he's always felt very Wally West to me. Now, since the PR disaster that has been his life over the last year has really come to the surface with people noticing, many people have wondered about his future as The Flash. With this said, the overall interest in seeing the actor once again play The Flash seems mixed at best and probably leaning towards the negative side. The criminal process for some of these issues has started to take place, and he actually faces time behind bars for felony burglary, which would indeed cause Warner Brothers to simply move on from Miller. Now, the rumor that's going around is that Warner Brothers basically already has the person they want to replace him, and that would be star of 1917, George McKay. Now, I'm taking this with a total pinch of salt. I do think he would be a great choice, but there's lots of reasons why I'm not too sure if I think this is true. I do indeed think Warner Brothers could recast Miller. I don't know if these storm clouds are ever going to leave, and even if he resolves the criminal process, the court of public opinion is much tougher, and he may never recover from all of this. With Warner Brothers wanting to focus on their big heroes, and The Flash is definitely one of those, they may want to clear the decks for that character as soon as possible. I actually think they've kept him in The Flash because he plays multiple parts and it would have been impossible to reshoot his scenes. The movie doesn't come out till next summer, and I really do think that Warner Brothers is basically going to stall until the movie releases and then see which way the wind's blowing then. This is why I don't think this recasting rumor is probably true. It is quite possible that George McKay's name's been mentioned, and I do think he would be a great fit. But at this point, I really do believe that Warner Brothers' best move might be to do nothing. If Ezra Miller continues to get help and the criminal situation works out, well, as positively as possible, by the time the movie's released, the general temperature from fans could improve, and for Warner Brothers, the best thing to do would be to keep him as the Flash and move forward. If they reach this point next summer when the movie releases, and it's really clear the public has still had enough of Miller's shenanigans, then I do think at that point, Warner Brothers will start moving on recasting the character. Now, there's another clue out there that could indicate they are indeed looking at some actors. The script for the second Flash movie is already done and this one hasn't even been released. Often, when you're recruiting new actors, they do want to see the script and see what project they're going to be a part of. And this may have been a motivator for Warner Brothers to get that script done so the actors can make an informed decision. Now, like we said, this is still in that rumor stage, and we really don't have a reliable source or a trade weighing in on the story. Obviously, something directly from Warner Brothers or from somebody within the Flash production would be ideal, but I don't think we're going to get anything like that until after the movie comes out next June. The movie itself is set to release on June 23rd, 2023, so for fans of The Flash, I think you're going to have to wait that long. Obviously, we're going to cover everything in Speed Force news here, so make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll bring you the updates as soon as they drop. But until we know more, what do you guys think? Do you think Warner Brothers Discovery should find someone to replace Ezra Miller as Barry Allen? And if you do, which actor would you choose? Tell me what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you hit like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates. Peace.